thing. What? Nothing. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're on TikTok? You know what that means. Um, so today we are doing something a little different. We had a request to do this video, so it's story time! Yeah, we're, we're doing a story time. You guys love story time, but we're doing this one together. If y'all saw that last one, it took me like two days to edit that thing. Because it was back and forth, back and forth, what back one? and forth. Our labor, oh, delivery. Our labor and delivery. Oof. Well, that's because it was from two different perspectives. It's yeah. going to be long. It wasn't long. I said editing. Well, this is a little story about us. This is a little story about... Just, just, now this know. is a story all about how... This is a little story all about how my life got twisted upside down. Yes! That goes with it. <laughs> Pretty sure you get copyrighted. Mm. But anyways, uh, squirrel over here. Um... This video is about the start of our relationship. Uh, we had questions about why we had to go to hotels and things like that. So we're going to talk to you guys today about that. Mm -hmm. So, I guess we should start. When we first started hanging out, we were just friends. So we were, we were going to each other's parents' house. What? No, we were just meeting up and hanging out. We were, we were just staying over. We just met up, we hung, we hung out for the day. Except friends. Friends hang out. Friends don't stay the night. Right? Are you crossing the lines? No. Were we, were we more than friends when I didn't know we were more than friends or something? No. I thought this, you know, at some point I had to ask you, like, you thought we were something and I thought we were something else, so I don't know. What you mean? 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 I thought we were just friends. Oh, because you had to ask if I liked you? You didn't know I liked you and I did? Yeah. Alright. So. <laughs> How we started out with going to the hotels was um, once we pretty much established our relationship that we were more than just friends, um, we weren't allowed to stay at each other's house. We were both still at our parents' house, so um, it just wasn't an option for us to go there. So we, we both worked and, you know, there were times where, like, I had roommates out of the house, but they were still a little weird about people coming over, so she could come and hang out, but they didn't want her to spend the night. It was, like, this whole weird thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we just started pretty much using our money <laughs> to go to hotels, um, just so we could be together, and it wasn't like a, it wasn't like, we don't want you to think it was like always a, how do I don't want to say this, like a sexual thing. It wasn't yeah. a sexual thing. It was just we just wanted to be more, with each we other. We wanted to spend more time. We wanted to spend more time with each other. We wanted to be able to hang out with each other and get to know each other. Yeah. Okay. And you, know, you guys know, like, it's kind of hard, especially when you, like, really love and like someone that just, like, going to dinner, like, that's nothing. <laughs> um, we were in a relationship and we wanted to be with each other all the time. It was one of those things where we missed each other, we weren't together, and we looked forward to the weekends where we could have time together. Yeah, talk. You know, when you win someone, you better be talking about your goals in life and what you want to do and stuff. So, me and Cole, like, we was very mature. Like, we saw ourselves together forever, really early. So, like, we talked we talk about a lot of stuff, so. Yeah, we, we pretty much knew like it was kind of weird because at first it was like we were friends we didn't really see it and then when it just happened all of a sudden it was like we just knew like yeah it's it's weird how sometimes the person that you're supposed to be with can be in front of you and you don't realize it yet sure <laughs> <laughs> can we talk all the time how we wish we would have met in like high school or something yeah 
Oh, yeah. Um, we just feel like we'd be you know, even more further than we are right now if we'd been in high school. But um, fast forward to um, all of the things. The other topic that they wanted to talk about kind of goes hand in hand of how we knew some of my family would not come to our wedding. And um, that just kind of goes hand in hand with the topic of us not being able to spend time together at our parents' house. Um, wait, don't. Okay, let us not confuse you. It was just we couldn't spend the night at our parents' house. Like, yeah, I went. Like, we went to each other's family functions. Like, we yeah, we hung yeah. out with our families together. Like, we just couldn't spend the night. night. As if we were going to be doing anything. Like, honestly, uh, who goes to their family's house and, like, does something? That's so Maybe weird. you heteros, but not us. Yeah, I don't know. Just was really uncomfortable. Yeah. So, anyways, we, we were literally like, we just want to sleep. But, that's okay. Um, but, yeah, so... We, um, because we didn't get married to, like, five years after yeah, so we were together, but it was kind of like, not her family, but my family. It was kind of like this unspoken thing. Like, they knew we were together, and she came to family functions and stuff, but we just didn't talk about it. Um, so when the time finally came that we decided to I get... I mean, when you said that, I mean, it's been five years, okay? I was, I've been around for five years. I'm not a BFF. You know about when we were dating? No, like how we got to the point when when they when you knew they weren't gonna come to the wedding. Oh, like, I was like, like, what is she talking about? When they, cause we I thought you meant three. five years from now. No, well, like, five oh. years, and then there was a wedding, so they like they knew. Yeah. <laughs> we already know they knew. It just wasn't talked about. That's what I'm saying. It, it was they knew. We just didn't talk about it. It was one of those things they they don't really agree with it, so we didn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. But when time came for us to get married, um, we just randomly decided, hey, it's, we have a long weekend because New Year's is oh, yeah, we get married. We eloped. <laughs> <laughs> so we were leaving from my parents at Christmas, and I just decided that I need to tell them that we were getting married. And I couldn't do it in person. That's my fault. Like... Oh, you did, you I, a I sent a text. Sent a text. Okay. But I couldn't do it in person. Like, I had spent my teenagers in high school going through the the drama of confrontation with my sexuality, and I just I couldn't do it again. Like, there was a traumatic thing there for me that I just couldn't go through again. So I text them, and um, it took forever, but you know, I finally got a response and. I mean, it wasn't bad, I would say. It just wasn't what I was hoping either. So, fast forward, um, it was like months later, and uh, my mom actually wanted to come dress shopping with us. She just couldn't. She was taking care of my grandma and stuff. And um, when it came down to the actual reception that we had, I did have like my aunt and stuff come. Um, but my one grandmother couldn't come. She was sick. My dad and my mom, like, they don't, they don't necessarily agree with everything. So, like, my mom wanted to come, mm -hmm. but my dad didn't agree with it. So, he didn't want to come. So, to respect your marriage, my mom didn't come. So basically, like how, which we, we believe the same. So the Bible says you put God, spouse. your spouse, and then your children. So um, we don't fault her for that because we would have to look at each other and try to come to a conclusion together as well. So that's kind of just how we came to the conclusion that they weren't gonna come to the wedding. Now, fast forward to now, um, we haven't really talked about it, but I'm pretty sure that they may regret not coming. Yeah. Um, and that we have peanut. Yeah. I, I feel like there's some things that we've completely moved forward from, and it's kind of like an unspoken... I feel like it's an, it's an unspoken um, progression forward. Yeah. Like, like, we have... 
Like they, like they, they know, they know that, you know, of course Beyonce's gonna raise by two moms, so they, you know, they call her mom, mommy, and I'm mom. Yeah, and they call her that, like they're, cause you know, I've seen some families where, um, they would refuse to call the other. They call them by the first name. Yeah, yeah. and. and my family does. They respect us. Like my mom has said that you know they respect us completely, and they understand like she's her mom. I'm her mama, mm -hmm. and um, they are just like over the moon with Pella. Mm -hmm. They love her to death, and I feel like Pella has mended a lot of things there that you know may not have been the best. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I feel like I don't, I don't want people to like think bad about my family in any means. It's just, you know, you grow up believing something and like you have your beliefs and you think a certain way and, um, they love us unconditionally. It's just, they believe different from us. But I don't know if we told y'all before, but I was a preacher's kid, so yeah. Yeah. So y'all are in there. In case you guys might be new here, y'all then y'all haven't seen any previous videos. Cole's a preacher's kid. Yeah, I grew up in church um, mm -hmm. my whole life, and obviously we're still a part of church. Like, oh, yeah. is um, very important to us. And um, actually, lately with like all the medical stuff going on and her transition with jobs and stuff, like we haven't been able to go to church like we would like to. So. Um, like, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm sure she does too. I'm, like, missing being at church. Like, we can watch it from home. But, you know, being there is totally different. So, um, like, none of that has changed for us. Um, there was a part in my life where I ran from God. And it was just because I was being told I couldn't be gay and be Christian. Yeah. So, once I figured out for myself that that wasn't true... I um, just got back into church and being a part of, you know, a bigger thing and and healing, healing and healing, growing. yeah, healing and growing. Cause like I can, I feel like I still kind of get a little emotional about thinking about some of the stuff that has happened negatively in our relationship with my family, but um, I feel like I've I've like forgiven and moved on, like. Yeah. Don't hold on to I don't hold on to it like to me everything changed when I started to realize like these people have their own beliefs and they love us and they love me and I love them and we can just think differently and just keep moving forward and I can have my life and they can have theirs like and I feel like if everybody would do that it would just make things a whole lot easier I had to stop caring about what people thought about me. She's still working on that. I am. <laughs> um, I I mean, I, I'll probably say I, I work on that a lot. Daily. Yeah, that's something, that's something as a person I work on, not caring about what people think. But um, as far as my family goes, um, I kind of just put forward, like, they can't live my life for me. I have to live my life for myself. And... We can just think differently and love each other still and move forward. Absolutely. I'm sure you guys are wondering about my side of the family. My side of the family. Uh, yeah, what do you want to call it? Immediate family. They love me. Okay. Unconditionally. They accept me as, as I am. Always has. Uh, they've been very supportive since day one. Me and Cole. Uh, especially when I say day one, like, I think when Cole first came over, it was like, I don't know where I left off at. Cause the um, phone rang. From day one, I was coming over. Yeah. The phone rang. We're, we're recording on our phone today. We usually do camera, but we're doing the phone today. The phone rang and interrupted. So. Yes. Yeah, so but from day one, one, day one, Cole was over. He was like, Who is that? You keeping that one? She cute. So, yeah, I'm keeping this one. And she's been she's been kept ever since. <laughs> she's, she's still here. Every I would say everyone in your family is accepting, except in the same instance of like when we would go over to your aunt's house, they wouldn't want us to spend a night or anything. Yeah, that that whole spend a night thing is a whole. I don't know what that's about. That's about, but 
Because, like, when this instance would come up, like, we'd been, we pretty much would be married, except we couldn't get married. Mm -hmm. And other married people could sleep together, but we could not. So, you know, um, I don't, we don't understand what that's about, but. Yeah, like, at our reception, my aunts came, like, my family came out. Yeah, it was, you know, they, they've always been there for us. Yeah, and if they, and like, they always try to be, um, supportive. Like, if they can't be there for some reason, it's like, as they're working or something like that. Like, they text us or they're sending, sending a gift or whatever, but, yeah, my, my has been as hardship as coal. So, in case you guys are wondering, there's always this, this, this. They're your parents. Your uh, mom is great, but. Yeah. I'm my mom's favorite. <laughs> your mom's great. But your dad had gotten into this funk where he didn't want me coming over anymore. Remember that? Oh, yeah. He was dealing with his own stuff. Because <laughs> I know you guys are going to ask later. So. But it's, it's kind of like one of those things, like, again, they, they may not believe or agree with what we have going on in our relationship but they've always just been there yeah they haven't treated me any differently yeah so i love you guys i love you family i love my family too don't I make me feel bad <laughs> cole loves her family i'll put it through some stuff <laughs> all right i would say my if you're gonna go into extended family as well um like my aunts would you know they'd be like oh, i don't agree with it but i'll be and like my aunt came to Mm -hmm. reception and my other aunt wanted to come but she had to work so you know it was i'm their favorite too <laughs> yeah she's their favorite over me <laughs> yeah but yeah um i would say through the years i mean it's been it's been 10 years we'll be coming up on us go crazy we're gonna be coming up on 11. Mm -hmm. we just had the 10 how's 11 already almost mm -hmm. but i mean Crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. You still and we're gonna have a two year old. Yeah. Oh. This is this That's is. what's gonna make me cry. My baby growing. I've been having major baby fever, you guys. Major. That's another video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. We're gonna talk about it, let's talk about it. But um yeah, I feel like this topic is important to talk about because you know, sometimes you see the greatness of a relationship and you need to also see, like, where it started. Because I have people all the time be like, I wish my family was so supportive as your guys' is. And I'll, I'll yeah, be like, guys, it we, wasn't always like this. <laughs> this, is, this is a 10-year this is going on 11 journey. Like, I, yeah. Because I know we, get, we run into a lot of couples, like she said, and they wish, like, our image that we're portraying does, it is happy now, but it's it's been a ten year progression. We just wanted you guys to know know that like uh, where you're probably at in your relationship is probably where we were ten years ago. Yeah. So I would love you guys asking these questions so so you can let you guys know like where we started, it, where it was, and how we got here. So and that it gets better. Yes. And we know in some instances that it doesn't get better and. In those instances, those are toxic people that you got to get out of your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there's been plenty of instances in our life where we had to shut people out. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes that's just a decision that you have to make. And you'll be better for it. Absolutely. So. Yeah. And they'll still be miserable. <laughs> Negative Nancy's out there, man. Just got to get rid of them. Yeah, you guys. Be happy with yourself. <laughs> But if you guys have any other questions about, like, when we first got together or things like that, this is fun to take a little trip down memory lane. Let us know. If you have yeah. anything else you want to talk about. Because um, I think people just assume a lot about people. And everyone goes through stuff. So yes. we can all talk and share. And we would love to hear your stories. And, you know, just let us where, know. Yeah, where are you guys at? Yeah. Where are you at right now? Where are you at in your life? Are you just now coming out? Are you, you know, 
know, dealing with hardship with family, are you where we're at? So, you know, just let us know. We like, we like getting to know other people and getting to hear their stories. And everybody's connect. story's different. Yeah. Everybody has a different story for everybody. Yeah. We love you guys. We do love you guys. So until next time, be blessed. Be kind. Make, make a, a difference. difference.